Hello, welcome back to my channel. Happy 2020, happy new decade. I hope everyone had a restful holiday, um, spent an amazing festive season with your families and had a great new year celebration. Um, for those of you who have subscribed to my channel fairly recently, let me just reintroduce myself to everyone. Um, my name is Amanda Kloss. I am currently a digital content creator and a voice artist based in Port Elizabeth and a recent graduate. I hold a Bachelor of Arts degree in Media Communication and Culture, which I'm super excited about. Um, and this is my channel. Um, I'm coming to you with a car talk because I'm not really one for sit down videos. It's very difficult for me to sit down and do a video at my apartment. Um, and I really like doing car talks um, so I think I might do a lot more of them this year with a lot fresher um, topics and um, have some guests on as well um, it's just gonna be such a brilliant year and I'm really really excited for the year to kick off um, properly that is so this video I just really wanted to wish you guys a happy new year welcome you back to my channel um, and just let you know that there will be new content every week on this channel. I've decided to be very, very consistent. Um, so I will be posting a video every single week. It won't be on a designated day because it will depend on when I film the video and when the video is um, done being edited. Um, so that will all depend on that. But there will be a new video on the channel every single week. serving the function that I needed it to serve. It served as function over the years um, in my essay writing and all of that, but as I started getting into video editing and content creation, it just was not serving that purpose anymore. Um, so I decided to buy a new laptop um, last, end of last year, um, finally. Um, so I'm very happy with the laptop that I have right now. Um, it isn't the laptop that I initially wanted, um, which is, it's, it's really okay to me um, because I think it's, it's better for me to purchase something that I can afford um, and will do just as good as a job um, than to buy something that I cannot afford and then just feel very, I don't know, like regret the decision and feel um, resentful every single day. Um, because then I'm using it, but I'm not happy using it because I'm either struggling to pay it off or something like that. And I, I don't want to put myself in that position. So I decided to buy this laptop. It was on special at the time. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of very happy with um, the way it is and the way it works and um, how I'm able to easily edit my content as well as I have now the latest version of Premiere Pro as well. So I'm able to add titles and do really wonderful things that I've always wanted to do just to step up my content just a little bit more. Um, 
but yeah I'm very very excited for this year I hope that you guys are also excited um, for this year not just for my content specifically um, but just in general in your own um, capacities and um, in your own spheres of life um, I hope that it's going to be an incredible year for everyone um, and I know that everyone is going to have an explosive time of learning um, of building new relationships with people whether they be business relationships they friendships um, like personal relationships I know that it's going to be such an incredible time especially in being a new decade um, there's so much to do there's so much to learn there's so much to experience um, and that's such an exciting thing um, I do have to say that there were a couple of things that I did learn in the last decade obviously it was 10 years and so many things um, that change in your life there's so many things that you learn so many things that come and go um, but when we speak about 2019 specifically um, things that I learned in 2019 was that I really really need to let go of the notion that I can't be satisfied or I can't be happy doing things by myself or doing things alone um, whether it be going out for a coffee um, or going to see penguins I really love penguins like doing adventurous things going to see penguins or going on like a mini road trip um, I always had this I don't know I, I just in my head I always felt like things won't be as enjoyable if I do them by myself and and you find that sometimes you find yourself stuck in a box where you'd love to do things with your friends but plans are just not working out people are busy obviously um, people have lives um, and schedules are not up as well as you like it um, and even though it's a frustrating thing you just play it off and you're like no it's okay if it was meant to happen it would happen but if you just got up and just did it um, then there wouldn't be any problems and I feel like this year that's one thing that I really really want to focus on I love my friends I love hanging out with people I love doing stuff with people um, but I think I need to get this thing out of my head that I'm only going to be satisfied or I'm only going to be happy um, or I'm only going to enjoy myself when I'm doing things with people um, and I think I need to spend a lot more time with myself um, I need to be more gracious with myself and I need to really enjoy spending time with myself um, and enjoy experiencing life, um, doing things, creating things, um, just with myself. Um, and that's not something to be ashamed of. Um, and anyone who makes you feel like it's a shameful thing or it's boring or it's weird um, is not something that you need in your life. Um, but that's one thing that I'm really, really
but a lot of the things are just things that um, I know in my heart and things that um, I'm praying about and things that I'm going to work towards um, and it's not something that I want to sit down and say this is goal number one, this is goal number two and whatever. Um, I think it's important to have people in your life that um, hold you accountable so there are certain things that I will tell certain people um, and have discussions with people about, um, especially if it's business related. It's just things that I, I will sit down with like, um, my business manager or with a friend um, who I really, really value and really, really trust um, and just discuss certain things and say, hey, listen, I'd love to do this and whatever. Um, and um, can we set up maybe a timeline for these things or see these things through um, just so that there is some sort of accountability? Because I think that's, that's one thing that's really, really um, lacking um, in my life with a lot of things. Um, I say certain things. There are things that I obviously I see through. such an incredible decade it's gonna be filled with so much intrigue i feel like i don't know why i feel like this but i feel like it's gonna be filled with so much intrigue um and so much like sitting on the edge of one seat waiting for something massive to happen um and then just feeling so fulfilled and so overjoyed when that thing does happen um I don't know that's that's how I'm feeling at the moment um, and I really do hope that the year is explosive um, and the entire decade is just the most incredible time of our lives um, it is the, the most pivotal time of our life um, right now um, for people who are in their 20s um, because that's the time where you're moving out of varsity or you're just starting varsity and you will move out of varsity someone um, you will settle down you'll get a new job you'll get promoted all sorts of things you'll either purchase your first property um, or you'll move into your own big apartment with your little family or something like that it's just it's such an exciting time also a very scary time but it's something to look forward to um, and it's just something that I can't believe is happening um, that we're we're in that decade of our lives right now um, and I know that it's going to be absolutely incredible and I wish nothing but the best for everyone um, and I hope that you're able to achieve all that you've ever wanted to achieve in this decade um, and yeah so yeah here's to the most amazing decade of our lives I hope that you guys are going to enjoy my content this year and I pray that I'm able to create content that really resonates with you guys and also just reflects who I am, um, what I plan for my future um, and the woman that I'm slowly starting to form into. Um, so I really hope that you guys do like, comment and subscribe should you not have done that already. And here's to the most amazing time of our lives so i hope that you enjoyed this video and you stick around for some more amazing content but for now i hope you guys have an amazing day further an amazing week further and i will see you in the next